I purchased the FSD subscription package to test out all the features so you don't have to. Today I'm going to be testing out the auto park function on different scenarios and different types of parking spaces. We're at our first location right now where the parking spots are pretty normal. There are a few cars here, but not too many. And we have noticed in the past that the auto park function really does like quite a few cars so that it can actually see the parking space in between two other cars. So as we were testing out the first parking spot, we did see a P. So we were able to click the P and as the car was backing up, it seemed like it was a little close to the line. We were getting a little nervous that it might hit the car next to us, but as soon as it got too close, the car just aborted basically and it stopped auto parking right in the middle of the auto park itself. That was a little strange. We weren't sure why it did that and thought maybe it was a fluke. So then we went to the other side of the parking lot and tried again with a different space. Again, we were able to see the P, clicked on the P, and the car backed up like it was going to go into the spot. Again, the car got really close to one side of the spot, almost getting a little too close to the car next to it and aborted again. So then we decided to test out our theory where we thought that the cars on either side of the spot was, were too close to the line, therefore freaking the car out. So we tested a spot that we thought the cars were a little bit more in the middle or if anything, a little bit farther away from the interior lines. And this seemed to work so much better. The car did actually park all the way in. Although it did glitch a little bit at the end, I didn't get that exact footage, but the car then went forwards and then back and forwards and back again, uh, just to like, I guess, straighten itself out again, but it did actually go in, which was great. Then we went to the park that is close to our house and we also tested out the parking spots. These parking spots were the same as this parking lot here, but they were so much easier for us to get the car to actually park. So we were able to hit the P again and the car went back and parked perfectly in its spot. We're not sure why the car preferred to park in that spot over the spots in this parking lot. Maybe it has to do with the width of them. Maybe it just has to do with how close the other cars were parked to the lines on the other sides. I'm not quite sure, but this auto park function has not worked every time. So we are at the Publix parking lot and we wanted to test out this location specifically because it has parking spaces that are angled. We weren't sure and haven't tried to park using the auto park function on angled spots before. So we took the car down the rows of parking spots and typically what happens is if there's an open spot, then a P will appear on the screen. Now a P did appear on the screen multiple times, but there weren't any open spots. So that was a little confusing. When there was an open spot and the P was shown, we did click the P and it made it seem like the car was going to go into a typical spot, not an angled spot. So this leads me to believe that the car cannot actually park in an angled spot. We tried this out multiple times and the conclusion we have made from this is that it just couldn't park in this type of parking space. If you guys have found or have been able to park in an angled parking spot, please let me know in the comments below how you were able to do so. But otherwise, I do not think that this is possible at this time. The next location we tried was downtown and so this is where we have parallel parking. This one was a little bit more tough because we had some more open spots. So we had to find something that was in between two other cars. Otherwise the P does not pop up. So we were able to find it and it did park parallel pretty well. I was impressed by this. It just was a tad slow for me because I really do like to park pretty quickly because I feel very rushed when I'm parking, especially in the city. Uh, but this one, luckily we didn't have anyone behind us, so it parked pretty well and I would definitely use this again. Overall, the auto park function was pretty good. I would say it worked more than 50% of the time, but it is a little bit finicky. I think it would be really useful in different cities when you have parallel parking, but my biggest gripe about the whole thing is that it is slow. No matter what kind of parking spot you're trying to park in, it is a really slow process and I like to get in and get out really quickly. And it just doesn't do that yet. I hope that in the future update, it will go a little faster as well as maybe improve the parking itself just to make sure that the hit rate is a little higher than it is today. 
Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of Auto Park and whether or not it works for you in your city. If you found this video helpful, please give me a like down below as that really helps out my channel. Also, make sure to subscribe as I do post videos weekly. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.